Probably a little bit warmer the last couple of days because the temperature has changed. But Marcus assures mm -hmm. me by this weekend I can wear something fashionably polished. Oh, but let's not rush it. Let's not rush Hold it because I know a lot of us are enjoying the warm, yes. sunny can weather. Can you believe yeah, I can't wait. just this a time a week ago we're we were getting talking ready about how cold it was? Yes. Whoo, That's Texas for you, right? Yes, oh yes, gosh. and what a big turnaround. Such a much different week is up ahead for us. But yes, Neil's right. It will end cool. We will avoid that for right now, and we're going to enjoy the warm temperatures because more of it is on the way tomorrow. This afternoon, many of us made it into the lower 70s today. It was an absolutely wonderful start to our work week, and we had plenty of sunshine to help support these warm temperatures. There will be more sun tomorrow. We're just going to see a few more clouds begin to move in. We also had a lot of dry air today. That's why we were able to heat up into the 70s. And with that dry air in place now, temperatures are able to cool off rather quickly, but not going to drop a whole lot more through the rest of tonight. We're at 45 is the temperature in Dangerfield. You notice over in Linden at 40, 41 in Jefferson, our eastern areas, that's where we're going to see our coldest numbers in the morning, upper 30s to lower 40s. It's 44 in Hawkins, Lindale. You're at 51 right now. Overton at 48, Henderson at 45, 46 in downtown Jacksonville. Notice Nacogdoches at 44, 47 in Kennard, still holding on to 54 in Crockett. Trinity at 49 at this time, 44 in St. Augustine and Hemphill reporting a temperature of 46. So only going to drop down into the mid and lower 40s. This 46 degree reading will be the morning low in Tyler as we start tomorrow. Outlying areas, lower 40s, and even as I mentioned, a couple of upper 30s will be possible, but everybody is staying above freezing. We are starting to see that dew point begin to come up just a little bit more. Another great event happening for tomorrow, and that's the NJCAA Division One Soccer Tournament. It got started today with day one of pool play. Tomorrow things kick off at 10 a.m. over at the fields at Pat Hartley over at Tyler Junior College, 61 at 10 o'clock, and by 5.30, that's when the last game is scheduled to take place, a temperature of 72. In between there, we're going to make it into the mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be warm all across East Texas. A southwest wind in the morning. Turn a little bit more southerly as we get into the afternoon. We'll just see a couple of high clouds pass through the area for tomorrow. Nothing real major. All precipitation staying well out over West Texas. Now watch what happens by Wednesday. We're going to start to see the Gulf moisture really begin to pick up. That means Wednesday morning a lot milder for us along with a mostly cloudy sky. Maybe one or two showers on Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Going to keep that chance relatively low. It's starting on Thursday that our first round of rain does look to pick up. It's scattered showers during the day Thursday. Nothing real major, not even looking at much in the way of thunderstorms, at least at this point. The best chance of rain comes in with the cold front on Friday. This is noontime on Friday. You notice showers are likely, and also by Friday, temperatures are dropping, and we could see rainfall amounts anywhere from a half an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half in some areas. So there's the temperature staying warm through most of this week. In spite of having a lot more clouds on Thursday, we're down into the lower 70s, but notice Friday, we're cooling down from the 50s to the lower 50s by Friday afternoon with rain likely. Hopefully the system is out of here just in time for the weekend as we'll look for some milder temperatures to return. Here's deep east Texas. Another great day up ahead for tomorrow, but starting Wednesday, some low rain chances. Not a lot, but Thursday and Friday you can count on likely seeing at least well, some rainfall. Go. All right, a little something for everyone there, Marcus. Yes. Thank you.